Hi folks, we're uh, ready to begin. I want to welcome everybody here today. Uh, it's in the Crest Tea House in uh, West Greenfield. This is uh, Big Top with Little Joe. Um, as you can tell, I'm a little bigger than the average Joe, so don't make fun of me. Um, now, we really definitely appreciate you guys being here. Enjoy the menu, grab something off of it. We have great class, uh, big menu, whatever it is, the waiters are here um, for you. Now, before we get started, we have uh, two guests here tonight with us. Uh, our first guest is uh, Simon uh, Briganti. Uh, Briganti. Hopefully, uh, I'm saying it right. Uh, he's an attorney. He's been uh, an attorney for 25 years. Also, um, he is one of the organizers of uh, Taste for uh, Taste of the Valley, um, which is local restaurants uh, in West Springfield uh, that they organize, and uh, they have a lot of events and uh, um, a lot of great stuff that we will be talking about. Also, we have Gina Chung here with us, um, who also has a very interesting story. Um, on top of being a book writer, um, she's also been through the living different uh, concentration camps uh, back in Russia. She's originally from Belarus, um, so she's really got a very interesting story for us. Um, but before we begin, you know, we, we like to start off the show with a little bit of comedy, a little bit of, uh, uh, just to kind of get the uh, the show going. And uh, I'm by no means any comedian, but, um, you know, this was funny. Everybody's always talking about the economy, you know, and how bad it is, and, you know, how it's taking a plunge. Um, I kind of got to experience this uh, firsthand. I uh, went into the... Uh, Ordered a, bur uh, a burger at McDonald's earlier today, and the uh, the gentleman behind the counter, after I ordered the burger, asked me, uh, "Can you afford fries with that?" It kind of threw me off guard. Can I afford fries with that? But then I started thinking, well, "Yeah, you're right. Let me count the change." Because usually it used to be, "Would you like fries with that?" And you'd always have the extra dollar or two to uh, kind of go for it. But unfortunately, they had a dollar fifty, so couldn't get that. Um, now, also another uh, <laughs> little economy joke. Uh, you know, uh, Exxon Mobil is going to be laying off uh, 25 congressmen, so you know, try to support them the best you can. <laughs> it's uh, it's a little tough. Also, also, you guys are going to uh, catch it on this show. We have the burial of Bin Laden. Um, we got the video, so I hope you guys definitely enjoy it. Um, it's you know, we found it, and uh, here it is. We can turn off the volume over. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess that's how he got buried. Very good. I'm guessing those guys weren't the Navy SEALs. They handed him off to the uh, Army. So, what? Replay. That's you. That's a, yeah. We won't go with the replay, but like I said, you can say you got it here first footage on us. So definitely appreciate it. Um, <laughs> but with that, guys, we're gonna uh, begin our show. So definitely sit back, enjoy it. Uh, you know, and uh, we do like an interactive uh, audience. So definitely at any moment, if you have a question, if you have something that you wanna really toss out out there. Um, I would appreciate it, and I'm sure our guests would be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. So, um, without any uh, further ado, I'm going to introduce our next guest. Um, it is Simon Briganti, um, and if we can just welcome Simon out here for us. Thank you. How are you? All right, great. How are you? Good. Just take a seat. Nice to have you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now have a. Uh, as I've said earlier, um, you are uh, Simon Briganti, you are an attorney. You've been an attorney for the past 25 years. I started uh, when I was about 10, right? Yes, you're right. <laughs> Very smart gentleman here. <laughs> um, now, you are also an incoming president of the Rotary Club of West Springfield. Correct. Rotary Club West Springfield. Right. Okay. And uh, for all you guys that don't know where West Springfield is, we're currently here now. <laughs> so, um, and before we can kind of... Uh, get started on the, that path of the Rory Club and the, uh, the Taste of the Valley. Um, tell us a little bit about your, uh, your work. Well, I, um, mostly I'm, I'm a real estate attorney. I practice in Massachusetts and I practice in Connecticut. And as of today, I found out that I'm eligible to practice in Rhode Island. I passed the test down there, so I do three states now. Um, and I do mostly real estate work, buying and selling houses, helping people buy, uh, start businesses. Uh, that kind of thing, land use, if people are trying to uh, add a, add a, expand on a business or, or a house or a you know, thing like that. I work with a lot of restaurants. I've got family in the restaurant business, so 
I do quite a bit that kind of work. Great. Um, now we also obviously always hear the uh, the lawyer jokes. Any yes. funny moments? <laughs> Anything you would like to share with the uh, with the audience? Um, not a lot of funny moments. I don't do a lot of work in court, so when I do get there, there's a whole kind of a whole ritual. It's you know when to stand up before the judge, when the judge sits down and stands up, and all that. And a few times I've been I've stood up when I was should have sat down, or I've sat down when I should have stood up, and the judge would kind of look at me and say, "You you don't know what you're doing, do you, son?" <laughs> um, but uh, you know, generally uh, it's it, it gets a little intimidating sometimes, but uh, mostly, especially locally here, you get to know all the other lawyers, and we all help each other out. So it's, it's a good bunch of people that we work with here. That's great. Um, and now also, uh, you've been doing it for 25 years. Just about, yeah. I started Just in about. the late 80s, yeah. And you've always done real estate. I do, uh, yeah, I've done mostly real estate. I help people with wills and those kind of things. I also do some, uh, I work in telecommunications a lot where um, uh, companies come to me that want to build cell towers. I work with them in getting cell towers approved in different places and getting uh, uh, telecommunications antennas and fill facilities and that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, um, so if I ever need my will done, sure. to you. Yeah, we're going to away. You're going to give me the uh, friend discount, right? Sure, why not? <laughs> Great. All right, now if we can get into a little bit into uh, the Rotary Club. Okay. Tell us a little bit about it and what you guys are uh, about. Okay. Well, Rotary itself is it's the oldest um, service club or service organization in, in the United States. It was started about 105, 107 years ago, I believe, by an individual named Paul Harris, who was also a lawyer. And uh, what we do is we, uh, we essentially help people. The, 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 the uh, Rotary... Um, uh, motto or theme is service above self, meaning that those of us that are able to help, either financially, physically, that kind of thing, we do. We we help people that um, you know, not necessarily just less fortunate, but people that uh, can can use help. Uh, we do a lot of charity work. We uh, raise money for a lot of um, local um, and national and international causes. We work locally here in West Springfield by um, uh, getting scholarships uh, available to high school kids by doing grants to uh, various groups. We've done, uh, for instance, park and recreation sometimes, maybe looking for some um, emergency equipment, life-saving equipment at the pools we've done, um, the, the local um, food, uh, uh, the um, uh, parish cupboard here, we do a lot of work with them. So we try to do what we can. And then internationally, we've done, we've, uh, done work with um, orphanages out in um, Georgia, I believe, or Russia. Uh, we've worked in Guatemala on a water project. We've worked in uh, India on some projects there, so Japan relief. We do things that, that large globally and down to uh, just last week, within three days, we raised $10,000 to help some families that have been displaced here in West Springfield because of fires working with the, with the Red Cross. So we do those kind of things. It's definitely great. So you guys definitely uh, do a lot of things. Um, now, you're an uh, incoming president. Incoming president. Right now, uh, Stella Kalamarakis is the president. She's been president since uh, last July. It goes from July to July, and I'll be president um, starting this year in July. And uh, we prepare for that. The, the year before, kind of, we go to different things. We're having the international convention in New Orleans. I'm leaving on Saturday for that, so that helps us uh, learn more about what Rhodey's all about and prepare us for um, the upcoming uh, year. Okay. And what might some of your duties be as uh, president? Perks? Uh, perks, not a lot of perks. Um, no. <laughs> we meet we meet once a week on, on Tuesdays. Mostly it's a it's a lunch. Um, right now we're doing it over at the Monte Carlo um, on Memorial here. We've been there for, for a long time. They do a great job over there up on the second floor. The public is more than welcome. Any any time anybody wants to come by, noon time on uh, Tuesdays. Um, we uh, we we have a meeting. We always have a, a speaker. We try to get an interesting speaker there. Uh, we talk about updates on the projects, such as the taste that we've got coming up. And um, then we um, have some business discussions and we talk about some things that are coming up. The, the Rotarians themselves uh, will talk about things they've got going on in their life that are, um, you know, interesting. So that's, that's what we do. Okay. And now just to get into some of the, uh, you said you guys sponsor um, a lot of, uh, or you give out uh, scholarships. Right. Um, how can some of our, because we have a lot of students that right. might be interested in maybe getting, obtaining a scholarship. Um, what are some of the scholarships that you guys provide for anybody that's either looking to go to college or yeah. any other ones? Well, ge well generally it's a, um, I believe it's a four-year um, uh, scholarship that we offer, uh, re renewed every year. Uh, the amounts uh, vary, I believe, from 
um, depending on what's available and what's looked for. Uh, mostly the place to start for that, I believe, would be with the uh, schools uh, where the kids are going, where the students are going to school so they can um, get some information about that because there are a lot of not only Rotary scholarships but a lot of scholarships available so that the school's guidance and such are good places to start for that. That's great. You're right. And now, could anybody join the Rotary Club? Uh, anyone can, can join Rotary. Uh, anybody that's um, willing to, uh, to help us out, there's a small uh, fee every year that you pay as dues. Um, and anybody that's got the ability to uh, get to the um, to the meetings, and we also uh, again look for um, people that'll uh, help out in the various uh, charitable and, and social things that we do. Is free lunch included? Because I'm in. Uh, it's <laughs> There's no such thing as a free lunch. You should know that. No, we, we pay for the lunch down there, and um, it's it's a great lunch. It varies all the time. It's. Uh, I, mean, I already told you yeah. what happened with me and McDonald's. You yeah, know. yeah, I know. People are passionate about the food. I understand, but. Uh, that's you get good value for your money down there. You're right. You're right. Okay. Might just have to check it out. Sure. Um, now, if we can get a little bit into um, the committee that you're on. Okay. And that is the... Uh, we call taste. it West Side's Taste of the Valley. Um, it's been around for, I think we're in our 12th year now. And uh, what the Taste of the Valley is, uh, if you're familiar with the taste concept where you have uh, restaurants, various restaurants. In our case, we have them from throughout the valley and even outside the valley. Uh, they come to the event. Uh, they set up a tent there. We have a, um, a, uh, a number of vendors there. I know this um, organization with art is going is to be there. Um, and uh, what we do is we provide entertainment and we also provide uh, some, uh, there's a petting zoo, there's a BMX demonstration. It's kind of a whole family theme that we try to get people down there. And the restaurants, I believe this year we've got 15 restaurants and they're each, um, we offer the restaurants an exclusivity essentially where Eat, they each sell their own unique uh, individual item, so uh, they, they've got the chance to get that audience to come in there, uh, the, the patrons to, to try their, their food. Um, and then we have bands that are playing there pretty much uh, continuously from Thursday evening this um, at 6 p.m. to um, all the way through Sunday at 6. Uh, the evening, the entertainment on Friday and Saturday go, I believe, until 11 or 11.30. And I guess we should mention the dates uh, this year. It's uh, starting on the, um, is it the 9th? Uh, third June 9th, which is Thursday, and then it goes uh, to uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Two other things I could talk about that very briefly. One is um, Sunday's a theme day, and it's uh, going to be a jazz uh, jazz theme where we've got musicians. The West Springfield Jazz Music, the West Springfield High School, is sending a jazz uh, ensemble down there. We've also got musicians from uh, UMass the Fine Arts Center coming down. And another event that we have on that day is the uh, what we call the Jazzy 5K. It's a walk, it's a run and a walk. So if you're not inclined to run 5K, you can walk it. I suppose you could crawl it if you want to. If you had a tough uh, night, it might the be night by before. the uh, yeah. by the start okay, of the second right. round. Um, and uh, it goes throughout West Springfield. There's a little bit of a hill goes up um, along Route 20 for a little bit, then ends up back in front of the Senior Center. And um, again, we we this is our major fundraiser that the Rotary uh, Club does locally and we use the money um, to, um, to, to fund these projects that I've talked about. But when I say the Rotary Club does this, we're, we're the, we kind of run it. We have the people that are involved in it as volunteers, but uh, the town of West Springfield all, is also integral in this. The uh, mayor is always a big supporter of ours, and we always appreciate that. They supply police, they supply DPW to make it a clean and a safe event. Um, and then we have our sponsors. 